Okay. I have, uh, I've switched headphones and readjusted the volume and everything. I hope it sounds okay. Here we go with Life is Strange, episode four, Dark Room. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. That part always makes me cry. <laughs> Every time I play it. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. 
It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do <clears throat> is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. <coughs> Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, <coughs> Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. I'm not taking <laughs> Nice shot of the lighthouse there. It's oh, a pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, you know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? does need her drink. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, <laughs> even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. <coughs> it would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this <laughs> show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember, Max. God, who does that sound like? I swear uh, I um, sleep. Sounds like me. Not when you're here. Not yet. The snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. <laughs> Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Oh, that hot dog is hilarious. Okay. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Ah, 
Aha, here's the DVD. Take a quick look around. It's so beautiful outside. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Hmm. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I... Just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but. I... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys. 
financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? <laughs> Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy <coughs> weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Oh, that makes sense. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them more. <laughs> more than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Nathan was worried, too. This is a very interesting timeline. Uh, it's very different from the original timeline, and um, uh, it's just very interesting. Chloe is using emojis to state the obvious. <laughs> I saw you throw that TP at me. <clears throat> don't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Hmm. If only I'd known that in the other timeline. Taking me to see my mom. Wow. It's really interesting. How the shoot me now. The relationships are different. Give my daughter the shot. an artistic reference there in the this mattress which is a similar tartan to Rachel's shirt that Max wore before that's really interesting no I'm not gonna sit I never heard much about William's brother. <coughs> Sorry. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping her toys. I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. But you don't. 
crutches. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. So sorry I can't help you. Go on with my own medical bills, that sounds like, you know. Sounds familiar, that's all. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. At least we never had to hide from step douche. Hmm. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. <laughs> It is so nice to have you around. No, don't open the drawer. Hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Well. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years, after the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system <coughs> is very weak, and she, she... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Yeah, if you want to know what all those other things say, you can play this game yourself. And you should. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? No bird. No blue hair dye. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Nothing here. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Life is funny. Oh wait, what's the name of this game again?
to think that our destiny <coughs> is linked to goddamn car keys. Yeah. It's true. Hmm. hmm. My goodness. I definitely have to take a third job. <coughs> they might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. $12,000 within the next few days. Nice. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jeez, Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Mm. Oh, sure. That's great. They finally went to Paris. Hmm. Hello again, William. Nice to see you back. <coughs> so you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. <laughs> you act like... That skip function is... Key. You can watch through it, but nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Really? Mouth controlled joystick. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Scott Bakula rules. chat room. That's cute. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Yeah, it should so be. Glad we had her. There's the old Chloe. Oh, see? Yeah, that's a little slightly annoying when, uh, when you're playing and at least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Okay. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. 
You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Emo ground zero? Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Yeah. Despite everything, <coughs> they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along and I will too this isn't how I want things to end what? what are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today I want this time with you be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Did you ever expect you'd play a video game where you were um, crying and had to make this decision? Holy crap! But, um, I totally get it. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together forever.
Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. A no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be for two right? He's never leaving. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. 
Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? <laughs> I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. How very the closer. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. <laughs> Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. Dear power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some <coughs> names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. Okay. I can't abuse... Can't abuse my power to... Oh, no. Oh, that poor no. little bird has been trapped in here. I know. That's bad. This would be better. Come on, birdie. Die. Come on. Fly, be free. Which, by the way, is a line from what film? It was like this. Fly, be free! Free, my little winged friends. I'm not going to tell you. This game is full of those things. Yep, locked from the other side. Oh, darn it. So many texts. So many texts are going by too fast. Now I have to go back up. Unabomber. Okay, I remember that. By the way, drive in actually so it's sold out. Got us tickets. B fucking minus! I got a B minus on my can test. How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? <laughs> this is cute. But I thought you were blinded by science. And it's my fault. I didn't I didn't play that in the correct order in that episode. Let's see. <clears throat> because I didn't play that in the correct order there, I did get to see that funny blinded by science thing, but I didn't get to give him the chlorine and get so he got a B minus. In this case, yes. My folks was shit. Yo yo Max. Is that like yo yo ma? Your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. She texted you. I'm sure she doesn't have her number. 
I sure didn't have her number, at least I didn't go ape with you unless you want to chill with Chloe or with you all though. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to jet. Talk to you later. Alright. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. New clues. Okay. Now there's a photo to take over here. but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. Oh look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. This is another trophy that you get. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. And now, you can either put the plank back or leave it. Um, oh, put it thank back. you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. Oh, do the eggy wags. Do the eggy wags. <coughs> that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Hey, Wendy, where you going? And you know what I say to those. F I'm not gonna. It's from a Wendy O. Williams and the Plasmatics album. Oh, man. My brain just goes all over the place. Okay, can I get back in that way? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, you need to open that door for something that's coming up later. If you don't, hey, it'll Max. drive you insane. I do appreciate you standing up for me. Well, you're welcome. Flat top dude. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Hmm. Well. I'm not sure that we ever actually find out. Aw, William's stuff in a box. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. I'm so thinking about my cousin Gary right now. Max, I don't like people in my personal space. I mean it. I'm sorry, jeepers. Creepers. Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no oh, girls... The keys to the kingdom. Or at least David's locker. Huh. <coughs> <coughs> Now, the email? Really? Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Anyway, I was talking about my cousin uh, Gary, who lives in the Philippines with his gorgeous wife, Gina. Um... Hey, Max, I do appreciate you standing up for me. Oh, oh shut up. Because um, our fathers were uh, twins. So he's sort of, genetically, my half-brother. Um, which is weird, and everybody... I mean, I guess it's weird. People say it's weird. For the people I've said that to. I wonder to, if I've David is going to the party. Your cousin's your half brother. Well, genetically speaking, yes, but. Use. Oh no. For once, I already I don't know that's not going to work. Search for the code. No. I need to find a key. And that made me think of him because both of our fathers died a long time ago. Sorry. But this um, is my he, official man cave, so no girls allowed. Shut up. And uh, 
I was eight when mine died. He was older when his died. Um, but they they both died young. Uh, my dad died, actually, when he was my age. Which is a little weird. But... Okay, so anyway. Let's get back to the... The stuff. Excuse Oops. me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. No, Come I'm... on, Max. Find a way to get David I out of his cave. Up oh, I know how to do it. Now, the thing about that is... I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. That's right. Enter the ninja. Sometime. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box! Sometimes in this game you have to do I give up things William in a certain but order. David. Gotcha. Uh, I give up William but defend David. Would Chloe hate me if she knew? Uh, no. But that's in the next episode. Hey, Max. I do appreciate you standing up for me. I am the key master. And that's a Ghostbusters reference. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Score. Back to Chloe now. Score. Call Chloe. Yo, Chloe. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Yeah, but he shouldn't, he shouldn't know it. It's so hard not to give away, like, who the actual bad guy is and exactly what's going on here. <laughs> I've tried played it so many times already. Then I just go, ow, oh, blah, 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 blah. But that would not be good. I mean, I could do it, but it, it hey, wouldn't Max. make watching these. Uh, oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson videos any fun on um, YouTube and this is my friend Chloe yeah Chloe why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell I was way too cool for the school it's a long story and actual files here I can imagine Max are you sure that you're all right it's weird just being on campus like everything's normal I know lame as it sounds life has to go on I think there's too much going on in my life on that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just... Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! <laughs> You're out of control. Not yet. 
Just wait until the rager tonight. Ugh, shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. A plan, Grato. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Hmm. Oh my. <sighs> my sweet Kate. No need to go there now. Ah. Uh, she was probably high. I was hoping yeah. for a shortcut. She had the sick nugs. True that. Okay. She had the sick nugs. Hey, Daniel. True that. You look bummed out. Too funny. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos. Did he say hola? Suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Oh my. And someone, a voice actor who clearly does not speak Spanish. Who said, hola, Max. Good grief. Anyway. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Hmm. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Hmm. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. <laughs> That's awesome. And this is the first time in the, like, four times I've played this game. Bum, bum, bum. That I've actually gotten him to go to the party. So, I'm going to leave Let's it at that. Later. Okay, Daniel. Let me know when you found something. Ugh. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Oh so my. Makes me. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance for you. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. Just study partners. I can't believe he does have friends. That depends what your definition is. But I'd like to see more friendships at Blackwell, less bullying. Especially after this week. Me too, Miss Grant. So, you don't know where Nathan is? I saw him sulking off campus earlier. Thanks, SSL. You look like you have more on your mind than a question. Hmm. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There is snow in Wales? Really? What time of year is it? Snow in Wales. I wish I could do a Welsh accent. Uh, let's see, Beyonce science or scientific explanation. Well, when you have a choice, always choose Beyonce. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. 
We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Uh, uh, what? You think what? that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Birds? Unless you know something I don't. Yeah, birds don't care about erosion. <laughs> They're birds. Okay, whatever, sorry. Oh, Topanga. You know, I love that show. Boy Meets World. I'll, th I'll make that choice. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. Mm -hmm. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate was the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Um, no. But... Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. She's Kate a teacher. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Hmm. So... Why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved this school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. <laughs> I know I should. Yo! Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Ninja. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. <laughs> Drag right here. Give me the signal <clears throat> if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Uh, now I just have to find Nathan's room. When I was a freshman at the University of Evansville, I lived in a co-ed dorm. But one side was was boys and the other side was girls. We were not mixed together like that. We just happened to be in the same building. Ugh. I already know that this his can door. Only be Nathan's room. Oh, right, right, right. Sometimes you have to do certain things for other things to become available. Oh. Mm. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Wow. Or anything with clues. <clears throat> I 
I forget you're still teenage adults. Oh my gosh, Dad, shut up. Yes, Mr. Marsh, we understand. <laughs> the plant's name was Lisa. That's pretty funny. Uh, drugs? Do you know Frank Bowers? Oh. She's Nancy Drewish. <laughs> Drewish. Isn't that something from um uh, the thing with my helmet is as big as yours. Your helmet is as big as mine, or your schwanz is bigger than whatever that movie is. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, mm, she's not really like Nancy Drew, no. It just, this just happens to be happening in this story right now. Um. Unless I'm wrong. I mean, I never thought about. That is so Chloe. You're gonna pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Chloe has no no memory of that photograph. Um Oh wait, there we are. Nathan Prescott. All American teen. Oregon's best boobs. Now, you can't get mad at somebody for their wank material. That's as long as it's legal. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Hmm. Perhaps he has on on a kind of crush on you. Holy shit! That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from. A gift from Papa? Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Hmm. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, oh man. Sure. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Spank bank. <laughs> Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, she is. Where's your damn phone? Oh, wait a minute. I remember now. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? <clears throat> Women trying to get away from Nathan? Oh, no, they're not. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh, yes, little phone. You are mine now. Sweet! Okay. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Yeah, you're not really gonna get away with that, but okay. It's all good in the woods. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Boom, Akasha. 
What are you doing in my dorm? Um... You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho! <gasps> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Ow, poor Warren. <laughs> you are so fucking dead! Hi! Hi, Karate! Okay. You just said bra. Hmm. So I should let him continue to kick your ass, because you just said bra. Weak. Weak as water. Uh, but let's go ahead and stop Warren, because... Warren, stop it! Come on! I got another idea. Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Yeah, right. Whatever. Can I go Even back and Nathan talk to him? definitely deserved a beating. We should try to be better than that. No, I cannot go back and talk to him. I never tried before, but... What do you mean we should also... You mean I can... Really? I can totally, like, not even hit him ever? That's something new. Thank God for the skip thing. Okay, so... Got the phone. Damn, Max, you're f Hmm. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Ugh. That's a horrible thing to say to somebody. I know. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. Yeah. And it was, was good. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was scary. <laughs> oh, yeah, he needs to get his ass beat, but he also. Also? Also, uh, needs to have a gun. Damn, Max, you're f I think. I'm not sure. If it, Warren, stop it! You know, Come I uh, I played this already. <laughs> it's like that all the way to the end. So, including the next Why episode. Why are you looking at me like that, huh? Maybe you, he should have a you, gun. You're all dead. Let's go. Now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He okay. owns you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Needs a hug. Yeah, that... Uh, seriously, that, uh... That should have been one of the choices to make. Hug Nathan. <laughs> that was intense. Warren. <laughs> Thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. It was awesome. I don't know. It was awesome. I almost went crazy there. Uh, you like sort of almost did. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. 
And uh, thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. We do Better. find out why that happens in the next episode. Now. Yes. You are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. That is a lot of butt he animation. Really a serious beat down when he walked baby. away, it, it was, was like, a little scary to watch cheek him do up, that. cheek up, cheek now up, let's cheek make a up. Date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Um, Frank if I say always money, answers when he wants money. Durr. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's right not keep now. him waiting. Oh my god, can you hear the ice cream truck outside my house? Do 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 do. With an H. Not as in Welsh. God. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would be... Just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Oh, okay, Dean. <laughs> Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I've That's good, I like to know that. Every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. No dicking! No dicky, no washy. States by Saturday. Oh, shut up. Do, 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 I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Uh, there is, actually. No worries, sign. Okay. And there we are. There's a trophy for you. As I said, I don't need them because I platinum this. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. But I like to uh, help a brother out. Now, hold on a second, because I want to see something. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. I don't think Frank oh, listened to my up. cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. Dead whale. Okay, uh, at the table, that's garbage. There's dog food, because the dog is not dead. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. In crime? Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Uh, yeah, give him the money. Oh, I thank you. 
That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. Lady balls? No. <laughs> lady ball, Jesus, lady ball. Okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Oh, Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Ah! Uh, hardy boys, see? see? You just asked about Nancy oh, Drew. Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Hmm. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Hehehe, <laughs> drug Frank, reference. This isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry. I didn't sorry shoot you. That. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog is, and if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Uh, let's go back to that. Of course I yeah. do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? <laughs> yes, we're so Be close cool, to honey buddy. now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Oh, I love that movie. You. you and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Hmm. Can it be Pee Wee's? Pee Wee's play Playhouse, not Clubhouse. Damn it. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. Three, three little we really need your client list. <laughs> <clears throat> well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh my, my dog God. isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. This is the first time I've ever played this where I didn't have to rewind. Because I pissed somebody off or did something wrong. And she got the gun back. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Ugh, Frank. This game is so awesome. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. I played this times when I shot him and when he shot Chloe. <laughs> All sorts of shit went down. 
This is the first time I ever played that it like that. Cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. It was. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Well. Here's this part. Putting it together. Chloe, are you okay? It's a little sun time for you. I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. This episode is so crazy. It is. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. It, it's, yes, Frank. No, an invitation to pate. Okay. It's the craziest episode. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Uh, yes. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Who are you apologizing to? Okay, we need uh, coordinates, license plates, and uh, photographic proof. Oh, Lord. No, no. No, don't, don't select. Just look at it. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Yeah, it's not useful. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Hmm. Twitch Twizzler. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Well. Wow. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. When was he there? David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Hmm. Okay. Uh. 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 That together with um, license plates and and what? Uh, 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 uh. Those clues are not related. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. See? Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Rock. Damn it, rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Uh, coordinates. License plate pictures. And. Ugh. Nathan's pictures. And that's all she wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Okay, so. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Uh... That's definitely Chloe's car. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. 
overcompensating, as usual. Is that an SUV? I'm not even sure it's an SUV. It looks like a truck to me. But, uh, okay. So, um... Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Hold on a second now. Okay. See the thing on the back. Okay, there we are. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Sex offender. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. And his license plate is sex offender. S-X-F-T. X sex defender. Really? <laughs> pick me, pick me. I mean, that's what it says. Okay, and so. Yep, another car David nope, was tracking. That's not you. Why the hell are you following <clears throat> these people? No, you're going to make it this In one, aren't you? To where? Yep. Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Finally. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Oh, thank goodness. Because you can spend a long time on all that. Okay, so... Wait, why is... What? Frank's clues. Okay, okay. I'm so glad you're working with me on this. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Mm-hmm. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In what? In some way. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Rot. So I'm looking for rot. Okay, then, let's select that, and then let's look at... Chugga, chugga, chugga. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... No, 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 no. I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. No, of course not. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Ugh. Okay, so rot. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Yeah. I just... Don't be so stupid. Yes, the game is on. The now, game's afoot. Talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Tell us everything. I can everything. see you know how to rock that big board. Investigation. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Rot. Two sheets. Damn, I would have gone to that party. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, mm, who am I to talk? That's exactly Everybody right. in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> it's Arcadia sure Bay. Of course they are. Satisfied. He could open a store. I'm from Indianapolis. Okay, I know Max, how that works. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Ugh. I thought we already did that part. Yeah, I was going to say I don't have to... Don't have to select it again. Two Rot. deals There's with Nathan one. on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Party? Eh, eh, eh. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. <laughs> no, it's probably because it's got drugs on it and that's why you're high. It's got to be that one, right? Where are the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Oh, yes. 
These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. You've cracked the case! Or now you got more. I have to analyze <coughs> Nathan's messages. I know what else. I know what that. Could help me unlock the stone. <laughs> Dean. <laughs> Laughing. I know that's LSD. <laughs> that was why I said what I said. Oh my god, my relatives are gonna scream when they see this on YouTube. He's talking about how he had drugs. Yeah, well, I was young. Everybody was young. Holy shit. At some point. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. They might be. Hmm. There's a lot of numbers in here. Oh, God. That's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard in a video game. There's a lot of numbers in here. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the <laughs> same thing to Rachel at another party? The game did. The game did what, Dean? Ooh, how very Rorschach-y. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Ah, okay, okay. I see where we're going here. Uh, Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. One, 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 one? No, that's... Uh, I don't think so. Um, uh, uh. Oh, crap. <sighs> you know, I have played so this like busted. three times, but I never remember all see this. The Prescott's can't cover up all no, the tracks. No, 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 it's not it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Hmm. Yeah. You fuck up my dorm, I kill your scholarship. Nice spelling there. Well, at least he was using phonetics. Good grief. Um. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Uh, 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 uh. Damn it. Let's start hacking. I know, 542 or 9535. <clears throat> no, hold on a second here. Eight seven eight nine seventy eight oh eight. Will that even fit? No. Nine five three five seems like the obvious choice. Oops. 
Bad code. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that You locked it, dumbass. Yeah, it's gonna happen. You have to lock it. <clears throat> ah! Enter Puck! And that is that number that I had before. Which is... 87897808. Right. 87897808. Find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Woohoo! You sold me water, asshole. I read that you sold me asshole water. <laughs> I'd be upset if somebody sold me asshole water. <laughs> I mean, pretty upset. Yes. <sighs> This is all about Nathan trying. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Nah, it is brutal. I mean, he's still a psychopath, but, you know. Okay. Take a breath, Max. <sighs> Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Take your time. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> really? Would you just tell me which one it is? Just make it something easy. No. You're paying night prices. What the hell? That's the craziest crap I ever heard. All right, let's go from the bottom up. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor rich Nathan. Not much out there. Really? Because that's pretty much it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Can't even get to the... Oh, because I already chose that. Because I know that's what it is. <laughs> oh, crap.
Ah. Makes no sense, Max. No, everything does except that. All right, let's look here again. <clears throat> ah. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. I know that's the location. I already know that. So. And three? You know what? Let's just hold on. Hold on. God, this is the most boring thing ever to stream. No doubt that Nathan stays in No, his no, 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 no. So he could be hiding clues there, too. Um. Oh, maybe I'm distracted by the fact that I know. Somebody is something. stocking up on gas. No. Why? I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. That beach is like Frank's main office. Ah. Uh, hmm. hmm. Okay. Two sheets, skidoo. I should try to link other clues together. Shut the hell up. <clears throat> Is she insane or am I? Because that links up perfectly. What frickin' drug are we looking for here? Oh, cocaine. Oh, well, maybe that'll be it. Maybe. Those clues are not related. I hate you, Max. Ooh. Speed and Coke. Hmm. What date is that? Ten four. Two Since days Kate after left my the party birthday. Early with Nathan, I should search for texts, and locations, and transactions in the evening. In the evening. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Okay. All right, I got you now. So the seventh is completely out. out. Oh, no. This is not working. Oh, shut up. Eleven PM. Okay, good. Fail. Abort. Oh, shut up. Wrong clues. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Ah. Ah. Perhaps. Max, just match the right text message with the right account book entry. Then you'll finally discover where Nathan took Kate. Good lord. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Yes, I do. Take a wow. breath, Max. <laughs> Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Uh, I know where he took her after the party. But that's not what exactly they're asking me to figure out. Okay. No, it's the wrong date. That's too early. That's too late. That's way too early. Okay, look. Really needs to be that one, but I'm going to look here one more time. No, way too early. So it has to be that. And... Nope, that's the seventh. Still the seventh. It's the fourth, but it's early. It's the fourth, and it's... No, it's early. Go up, go up. It's the fourth, and it's late. All right, then. Damn. I, I must have missed something. Yeah, your fucking brain. Ugh. All right. No. Yeah, the fourth at ten. Okay, well. Uh, that's it. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Thank God that's <laughs> over. <laughs> I adore this game. Nope. I gave it a There's 10 out of 10. A shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. But that doesn't mean I'm on this. Hold on. That every moment like that. I mean, somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Hmm. I'm shocked. No, you're not. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security. Call the po -po ho ho so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like you we're this got close the power. to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. My love is infinite. That's a line from Romeo and Juliet. It's one of Juliet's lines. In the balcony scene. Just so you know. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Okay. Wow. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Fresh. Then we need to get in that barn. Okay, I'm gonna try. 
try and move Chloe, through the rest the of this door. episode more quickly because oh, yes Maximus rules God this is way too Blair Witch I have goosebumps all over come on Supermax Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. <coughs> Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Okay, go over here. What is it? Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Huh. These he clips are used to lift haystacks. Right. Saw them in a Friday the Thirteenth movie. Uh -huh. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. What's so interesting about this is that when you walk over the floor, the uh, Controller vibrates. Ring, ring. All right, we all know it's a long episode. It's boring. <sighs> Nothing here. Girl, there is a lot of shit there. It's a whole thing. And it's right here. It's right over here. All right. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so That's few it? needles. Ugh, it keeps vibrating when I walk over this. Jackpot! Oh, what is this? Totally brand new. Why? Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th oh, good movie. Good grief. Damn, lots of info here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me move this stuff so I can get up there. I gotta get up there. <laughs> Can't talk to her yet. Apparently, there's something I haven't done. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. It's not a selfie. He didn't take it himself. This tractor has paid its dues. Now she's a tractor connoisseur. somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn and wow the bug sound is strong with this one
Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Thanks, smartass. I still can't talk to her yet. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Mm. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got... Ah, the good old days. Eggs, 14 cents. Wow. Coffee, a dollar? I can still get coffee for a dollar. Cocaine, two bucks. Yippee. It's crazy. As if you can just frickin' purchase it. Yeah. Trap door. It was just uh, the order in which... Chloe, can you give me a hand? You have to find these things. Sidekick at your service. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. You have minions. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Step on it. Don't. What? Look. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Yes, so stand on it. Ugh. <laughs> Good old days. Okay, there is an owl right there, which is a trophy. <clears throat> and pull the rope. Pull the string. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Hmm. Okay. So. Oh. strikes again. Yes. Yes, she does. Uh. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. <laughs> what is this jackpot? I know what it is. Do I even need to say how weird this is? It's weird. He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. Mm -hmm. Well. This bunker is so surreal. Hmm. Oh, no, it didn't work. No, it didn't. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes, you will. Now. into selfies. Hmm. I do not remember how I got this. Now that's a serious door. Hmm. Where's the first a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. That was not helpful. You can do it, Max. Break that ditch. The only reason to build a secret bunker under an abandoned farm is to do bad shit. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. Oh. Yeah, if you look at it, you can see the ones that are worn away. Oh my gosh. Thanks to the shortcut. <laughs> Okay, so it's locked. Damn it. <laughs> yes, except now I'm locked out. So, no, wait, wait. That's what rewinding is all about. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to Five, keep watching. Five, two, four. didn't work. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. This could go on forever. You can do it, Max. Now, here's the thing. It should be a number that means something. You locked it, dumbass. Ow, my head hurts. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Yay! Yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. Oh, and Dean help. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. <laughs> hell is this? It's a sick, sick, sick place. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh, 
No, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Yeah. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All of these files. This place actually. It actually feels evil. Well, they think they know who. But they're actually only half right. See, now that was... Wine to look. Party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. It looked like Nathan's tags were on a different so we truck there. Justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody Thanks, is going to my way. Thank you for your help. help. Right. Make sure to I'm friend me on PSN. End. You know that. If we're not already friends already. <laughs> oh shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. 
I can't tell if they're different. What is that? It can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. Prosperity. I know, I know. Which is the wrong food. word, but. Just one picture. Uh. Action. It's actually posterity, no time not for this prosperity. Shit. Come on, but... Max. Sorry. <clears throat> He's drunk. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him mm -hmm. see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> That's so sad. <laughs> Warren is such a sweetie. His heart's in the right place. He's such a good guy. Where the hell are you? Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Yeah, no kidding. Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no what. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Your face looks so intense. As opposed to maybe her elbow or a shoulder. <laughs> Just me being an ass. <laughs> The soundtrack for this game is just awesome. Not just this, but all of it. The, the guitar, everything. We need to find Nathan and take him down. There's Courtney drinking alone without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. 
energy drinks. So uh, energy drinks. I know somebody has to lose. No, I'm just worried about having enough energy drinks. Um, and by the way, I do have some. For like four o'clock in the morning or whatever. No. Not yet. Look. Cherry Jello. No, you boys are bad, and that is not funny. Melissa, incoming! Sorry, Mom. Oh. Of course you stepped up to protect me from another humiliating moment. Thank you, Max. but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP Sorry. section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, mm but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. Look no, again. you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I put myself on that list. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Mm. Blowy? No, that won't work. Hey, Courtney. How are you? What is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? But seriously, like, what do you want? I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I'm even on the guest list. But Zool the gatekeeper won't let me pass. Zool the list? See, uh, that's another very reference. Unlikely, but uh, Ghostbusters. Let's check out. Follow me. Sarah, our friend Max here, claims she's on the list. <laughs> Just for shits and giggles, let's see. No way. Yes, way. That's my name right there. Oh my god. Do you think I'm that dumb, Max? That's not even my handwriting, and I'm in charge of the list. Victoria is right, you are so fucking weird. Well, this is the closest you will ever get to a Vortex Club party again. Promise. Yes, you can leave now, Max. The party's over. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Mm, I wonder if now. That's fine. I'm surprised to see you here. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Huh. I think Rachel Amber would agree. I didn't know her, but I hope she's safe and sound. Uh, yeah. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. Max, you look kind of tense. Maybe you should go crash. Your face looks tense. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. <laughs> Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. I love her. I just do.
The fuck is going on, yo? Who stopped the music, okay? DJ, what the fuck? <clears throat> oh my god, DJ, really I just realized that my neighbors probably think that I'm insane. Yes, you Cause I'm wearing headphones, so the only thing that they hear is me up, up in my apartment yelling. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Woohoo! Yeah, the. So his ass has to be here tonight. You'd think so, wouldn't you? The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. He's good, too. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge porn or something. Dad. Yes, but can you do this? Okay. Now Look! <laughs> Wait, no. My husband swears that I dance like I that. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. See? See, Carlos? Look! Look, Carlos! I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP He session. doesn't care how goofy he dances. That is two hours and 34 minutes into the stream. Just so he can, you know, always find it. <laughs> Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We would have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. Yeah, for but Kate. I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is <coughs> here tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Of course I should warn her. Victoria, it won't matter. So has to win. But you yeah. can give it a shot. Windy. Did you hear something? I'm trying not. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, in Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. I'm not the only problem child at Blackwell. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. 
Mmm. That's the hand of the writer. Sort of explaining what's going on instead of character. But it's okay, because it's okay. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw and heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Mm. Now, here's the thing. I, I'm doing this purely out of what I want to show in the last episode. Because it goes a couple of ways. Um, so. Ugh. I feel horrible not warning her, but I'm not going to. Never mind. It was good talking to you, Victoria. As usual. Eat nice a dick, talk. Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro self. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us Monday. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Oh, she Au speaks Spanish. Oh, she speaks French. Uh. This episode is she, so I long. I warned Victoria about Nathan. No. I mean, she might be evil, but... Yo, Superman! Come hang with What's us. up, Hayden? Oh, hey, Max. I didn't know you'd actually come to me. Well, I didn't think anybody would want to party after Kate Marsh killed herself this week. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some... Dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? Barely see you. No. I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this one. <laughs> So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking wrecked. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan to me. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Victoria and her mean girls were here. You're great. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. And you're not looking out for oh her either. God. Max, seriously, what are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Just keep on dancing for Victoria, Taylor. And stay away from Nathan. Like, thanks for your concern. There he is. 
Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. <coughs> Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about it. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. So Sharing hot. your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... You don't need an envelope, you picked them! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. You didn't enter, so yes, shut up. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. God, this is a long episode. Almost three hours now. And I have not... Ben. Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Uh -huh. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. The fuck was that? Around, Wait. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Okay. Spooky. But the thing about this section is that while it feels free, it's not. There's only one thing you can do. Creepy out here. Because there's only one outcome, and... Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Also, apparently they never call the police. If they had. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. Max, please hurry. Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! 
That's the end of episode four, Dark Room, for Life is Strange. Uh, I would assume that nobody saw that coming. I didn't see it coming. And uh, I played it several times, and uh, that was always that outcome. Um, I'd hoped that maybe different people could be the bad guy, but... Um, they actually constructed this story, uh, in a pretty genius way. And they had to control it to a degree. So, they did. Um, I'm going to take a break now and have some food on this Extra Life 2015 thing, because uh, you have to eat with your hands. You just do. You have to either control a fork, or you have to hold a sandwich, or whatever. So I'm gonna, gonna eat. I'm gonna take a break and eat. This cast is great. The voice cast there. And uh, I'll be back in about 30 minutes or so with the final episode of Life is Strange, entitled Polarized. <laughs>